Hello and welcome to a bootleg review of Lego Chima. This time it's uh, from the brand called Lili. Just like the uh, the one of the last uh, Ninjago figures that I uh, picked up and also their own custom uh, designs of Ninjago that looks like a bit like sort of a step between Ninjago and Chima. So anyway, let's look at the boxes. Again, same type of box. The same shape and little hole like punch there. But well, it didn't punch it through, but you can see there's a little circle there. Lady Toys Chima. So instead of changing the name, they just took out Legends off. Um, so in, in this set, you got six boxes. Here's the first one. Uh, wax. Now, from the uh, Ninjago Chima ones, uh, they change all the names, so I'm pretty sure that these names are incorrect as well. And of course, um, with uh, Lili, uh, the stuff inside might not match the actual contents, especially the weapons. So here's what it looks like on the side. Uh, cards and some random items, which you do not get in this box. Here's what it looks like on the back. Oh, and because the bottom has the usual warning stuff, they're all the same. 70002, made in China. Level. Side pick. Side pick. Back pick. Razor. Oh crap, are we gonna get Toka? <laughs> Side pick. Back pick. Iku Ikula. Side pick, back pick. I'm gonna be using his wings to uh, do my custom Hawkman and Hawkwoman from uh, DC Comics. That's we cool. Uh, Leonidas, I think. Side pick, back pick. Chrominus, side pick, back pick. Uh, you, you're really wishing you're gonna get that, but you know. So uh, let's look at the stuff inside. So inside of you also get the uh, identical pamphlet, which looks just like the design of the Ninjago pamphlets. Showing you random boxes that you'll never get because they don't really do them. If they do, they don't look like the pictures anyway. Uh, a pack of cards, which all come in a little packet like this. And all the figure and parts comes in a little resealable bag like that. So let's look at the uh, all the cards of all the boxes first. Uh, here's the back of the card, just uh, Lady Toys Chima with Lady on the side. So this is from box one of Wax Sword, uh, Wax Figure. Um, very different colouring, it's way darker on the card than he is uh, in the box and the actual figure. Actually, you know, the box is whiter. Here's another pack, which is a bit sort of the wrong position because he's really cut off. And about these cards, they're more cardboardy this time, not thicker. Um, they feel like they feel like a box of paper from a box of like candy or something. Here's the cards from the second box, Laval. I'm sure if you collect Chimo, you know exactly what the uh, numbers mean at the bottom of the cards, but me, I have no idea. Um, I'll be selling a lot of these um, other figures because I can use them for parts, but uh, not most figures, anyway. But I'll definitely be selling all the cards if anyone actually wants them. Uh, put the comment below and uh, let me know if you want these cards. If um, if they haven't changed them too much, that they don't, that they still resemble actual Chima cards. Uh, the, I mean, the decent replacements, decent prints. That's a really sinister looking guy. Like, oh, look at me, I've got a morning star. <laughs> this one's box number five. This guy. That guy. <laughs> they must have cropped the picture in a weird way, I, I don't know. Um, I don't like the design of these cards. The proportions and the, and the, and the positions are all wrong. I, I don't like these cards. Ninjago cards are actually way better than these. If you like Chima, great for you, but me, I don't like these Chima cards. I mean, this one's cool. Things, I don't know if the cards are meant to show off the weapons, but, but you know, 
you gotta put, you gotta put like proportion to all these things. Next thing uh, you all, every box has is uh, these pieces, which are blue like rocket pieces. Get two of them and a sort of diamond piece. So I won't be going through all of them because you know every box has them. So we're gonna skip ahead now to zoom in, actually look at the figures and what weapons you get. So with rack racks, a generic golden katana. Um, some sort of battle axe, which is assembled because you get the bar piece, this axe piece, and the two red, like, flat stud things that you put on. It's like, it's like a guitar <laughs> axe thing. And here's the uh, figure, um, the animal head piece. It's kind of tight. So here he is. Um, printing wise, he's okay. Uh, there's a few bits of misprint, but uh, just tiny, tiny, tiny bits that doesn't matter too much. Uh, the, the center circle on the chest is a bit. Fuzzy. As for the face, it looks okay. Um, the scarred side with more detail is a bit blurry. And it's even printed on the back, but the resolution on the back is a lot lower than it is on the front. Because uh, here's the helmet piece, which is painted okay. It's actually painted better than the actual figure. Uh, but it's nice to actually use uh, silver paints to paint this guy. Next we have Laval, uh, generic golden katana, and this sword which is assembled by two, you actually get a transparent lightsaber, so uh, actually with Chima if you're looking for replacements like lightsaber blades, these, these are good figures to get, because you know you get the blue or oh, red bits. So there he is, um, he has issues with his leg, it doesn't Maybe it's too much plastic on the waist or too little plastic on here, but it doesn't go back all the way in and that's sort of annoying. But printing wise it's slightly misaligned on the torso and this leg's are slightly misaligned. Uh, the back printing is actually uh, almost perfect. So you do get this chest piece, but you know, nothing comes with it. Uh, just a chest piece. Uh, the head looks really sharp with a bit of... No, no, the head's almost perfect, uh, although the shape seems a little bit wonky maybe, but uh, the helmet fits on just fine, and the printing on the helmet is also really good. If only his leg was fine, then he would have been a perfect big figure. So next guy, uh, Reza, you get a single non-assembled piece, the same you get in Ninjago in silver, and the sword where you get the red bar to stick inside it. Of course you get the uh, black hawk figure. Um, actual Lego pieces on the back aren't too tight or stable. And uh, these figures have some looser waist pieces. But it is nice that it comes with uh, actual purple hands, which uh, for Lego is sort of a rare thing. Um, printing wise, I can see no faults with this guy. Uh, print is not is is aligned in the right place. I mean the belt may be slightly higher but uh, it doesn't all detail is there. Back to all details nice and sharp. Uh, the purple might be a tiny bit off center but it's just a teeny teeny bit. Uh, I think he's sort of the best looking he's the best bootleg so far. In terms of uh, face printing it's also really good really sharp uh, and the helmet is very detailed. I'm really happy with this one. But like I say uh, the back stuff wings is really tight uh, well the wing is tight on the stud piece but uh, it's the stud piece is loosely connected to the uh, actual chest plate and because with figures like this uh, standing can be a problem because of the balance next figure you get uh, non simple single solid piece weapon uh, blue sword again with the uh, bar in the middle. Uh, Sony bars are way too tight to fit in, that's why this one isn't all the way in because I found it possible to put up oh, there, you go, it's gone in. But uh, I figured that this blue piece is never actually coming back out to the sword because it will be stuck there. And there he is, uh, judging from my memory, that is, uh, from the uh, free one that I got from ordering 50 pounds of Lego on from Lego shop. Uh, you saw it in the uh, Lego Ninjago vs. Bootleg animation. Uh, this thing has way lower resolution than the original piece and actually a lot of details are smud either smudged 
or just missing from the face. Uh, this is not a good bootleg figure. It's, it's a shame because it's like it's made by two different people, two different companies. That one, the black one, was way more detailed than this one, and this one just uh, the black ink is messed up, the gold ink is messed up. Uh, it just doesn't look that good. However, putting on the chest plate, it covers a lot of this bad detailing and putting the mask on it also covers even more and actually looks decent with all the armor and helmets put on but take away the armor and the helmet and it looks really bad uh, and again it has the same problems on the back piece that you know the wings are really really tight and um, you know these bits come off quite easily so I mean, if you just want to display them, they're just fine. But uh, if you say you want to do animation with them, it might be a pain in the ass. Uh, number five, uh, Linoia, Leon Diaz. Uh, yeah, you get the guitar weapon again, and this sort of like axe blade sword thing. No, a uh, chain sword, maybe? Uh, his printing is okay. However, his face looks like he's really drunk. And I think that's on purpose. But the rest of the body putting is overall is okay. Uh, the black and the blue is slightly misaligned, which causes certain smudges. On the back, it's the painting slightly better, but again, the blue and the black is slightly out of line. Uh, sticking the mask on, he looks... he looks okay. A uh, bit of random paints that was here and there, but uh, nothing that really damages the detail, so he's average. And finally, number six, the uh, Crockett Croc Minus, a uh, generic gold katana, and a red chainish style sword. He's also an alligator, so there's his like body. His printing is almost spot on to the Lego version. Uh, back printing is slightly smudged, which is irritating. Very irritating. Also, his helmet is really tight. Just trying to want to get his head back out. Come on, there uh, we go. Okay, so the neck joint is slightly loose and the helmet's really tight, so it might take you some time to get the head out of the uh, helmet. In terms of painting-wise, the head looks okay. Uh, the gold is slightly smudged and wiped out, faded away. But uh, the red in the eyes do look menacing as it should. And putting the helmet back on, um, everything is aligned, so that's good. The helmet is painted nicely. Uh, there are a few misprints here, the uh, paint slightly off-centered, but uh, overall this one is also an average one. So that's that for this review. Uh, overall that one's the best looking one, that one's the very disappointed printed one, and the other ones are just sort of average. Uh, would I use them to replace the official Lego pieces? Uh, yeah, um, I mean I, I don't care too much about uh, Chima, it depends how much you care about a certain uh, franchise, but overall if you're lucky, you might actually pick up a pack with all sort of the perfect bootleg figures. If you're really unlucky, they might all look like that, but uh, seems quite random. And um, yeah, these are really good. Uh, they're built okay, except that one, messy leg. So uh, subscribe, suggest, and comment below. Check out Facebook for more detailed photos of this uh, review. And also uh, take care and have a nice day. Bye.